All right, we're going to be watching a trailer for Easter Bloody Easter. Now, I don't know anything about this. I saw the post on bloodydisgusting.com, and I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to react to the trailer and see what I think. I, I like the holiday Easter. I like the colors. I like the feel. So I'm down for another holiday horror film. We got a Thanksgiving movie. Maybe we'll get a cool Easter movie. Who knows, right? So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. After watching the trailer, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll do more trailer reactions, and I'll certainly do more trailer reactions to crazy out there movies like this. So, and let's go ahead and dive into the trailer. <laughs> what the heck? Six, seven, eight. Better run, you're gonna hop, hop, hop to the Easter time. The fun don't stop. So who wants to meet the Easter Bunny? Oh my gosh! I used to have an Easter job. I used to be an Easter Bunny. Where's Lance? Is he okay? I was hoping you could tell me. This here is supernatural. The Great Horned. This here is supernatural. The jackalopes is a shapeshifter, like a werewolf. Human one moment, bunny deer the next. Bingo, gringo. Every rabbit within 20 miles going to be at his beck and call. A bunny army? <laughs> Save yourself! So hop to the left. I think it's going to be the best Easter yet. But let's have some fun, shall we? Everybody shake your I'm oddly digging this. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. It was the shot that really won me over. The shot where the rabbits were biting on the lady's boobs. That was hilarious to me. And this guy right here. The guy who's wearing the tinfoil over his hat for some reason. Don't you do that with aliens and not wear jackalopes first off and foremost? What is this movie? This, this actually reminds me so far... Like, I get Tremors vibes from this, oddly enough. I know that's probably not what your first thoughts are going to be. I get weird Tremors vibes. I get low-budget, fun vibes, which sometimes low-budget movies can be all gems, hidden gems. So for all we know, this could be actually a really good time. You'd be surprised on some of these lower-budget movies. I enjoy quite a few lower-budget movies. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for the best with this. Obviously, the trailer is pretty okay, honestly. It's not as bad you as I was thinking. Moment. Bunny deer the next? Bingo, gringo. Bingo, Bingo, gringo. 20 miles going to be at his beck and call. A bunny army? <laughs> Save yourself! So hop to the left. I think it's going to be the best Easter yet. But let's have some fun, shall we? Okay, I think we're getting close. Yeah. Get right there. Let's do this. And a katana, you know, in every low-budget horror film, if you're trying to be a comedy, some random person's pulling out a random katana and is going to use it to fight whatever they need to fight. And it's, dude, it's the fact they are obviously stuffed animals. Like, they're not even trying with the stuffed rabbits it's they're obviously stuffed animals with like blood splattered on them i you know what i i appreciate this i yeah from if someone who has actually made like really ex when i say like no budget shit i have made no budget shit i'm actually a fan of stuff like this especially if they do them right and are completely self-aware of what they're doing then they're more fun. But if they try to take it seriously with effects like that, then yeah, it's just a complete waste of time. It looks stupid, but gosh, it looks like a fun stupid. Like, this could actually be fun. It's not like that movie Easter Bunny Kill Kill. If you have not seen Easter Bunny Kill Kill, good for you. It's like a really low-budget Easter horror film that took itself way too seriously. Like, when I say way too seriously, I feel like it was trying to be the I ideal horror film for Easter. And it completely fell flat in every department. The acting was horrible. It was cringy. I'm not sure if it's going to release on Shutter or not, but I'm I'm down to check this out. <laughs> I'm down. I used to be an Easter Bunny actually at a mall, so I actually relatable relatability to this. 
I actually was an Easter Bunny for about a month. And you know what? It was a fun job. I, I definitely enjoyed it. I made the most of it. Definitely fun. Except that one time where it was pet day and one of the dogs actually came close to biting my actual hand. And the lady was, like, okay with it for some reason. Like, she was okay with me getting, like, ripped out by her dog. It was it was bizarre. It, thankfully, it was a little dog and not, like, a big dog, like a Doberman or something ripping at me. Because I would have been, yeah, screaming my ass off. But, okay, so that was the trailer for Easter, Bloody Easter. At first, I thought this was going to be a sequel to Christmas, Bloody Christmas. Because they came out with a movie on Shudder called that. But, no, this is a completely different thing. All right, aware jackalope. It's not even the Easter Bunny. It's a jackalope. Which kind of is unique for a horror easter movie like okay that's a pretty cool idea like a wear easter bunny whatever you want to call it they're having fun with it they're having fun with it and you know what i like that i like when people have fun with it so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section are you interested or do you think this looks just the completely the most stupidest thing you've seen all year and until next time take care